Well, hello again and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. So, uh, with a fresh start means it's rookie time again. Oh, how we love rookies. All fine graduates from the Imperial Stormtrooper Marksmanship Academy. Yeah, that's why you... Go on, Brad. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh oh, rookies. Why are you so bad? So let's see, this is yeah, the train map. unpleasant train map. Mm, Jesus, you're slow, aren't you, pal? That's Let's just hope we can kind of creep forward without hitting contact immediately here, because, um... Yeah, there's not an awful lot of, uh... There's any real use on this map. Especially with rookies in there, you know, 40% chance to hit things even that are only in half cover. If they can get into full cover, it goes down to like 19% to hit. And this, this is not a map where it's particularly easy to uh, get flanks off either. What have we got? Drone, 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 drone. Well, as ever with rookies, you uh, never have any decent chances to hit drones. All you can realistically do is steady up, hope not to take too much damage. Forty-two ain't terrible. We'll take one random unit of Overwatch, just on the off chance it achieves something. But yeah, drones, especially our rookies, worst enemy. Yeah, the innate defense of flying creatures. Oof! Well, that was ridiculously lucky. <coughs> Plus, of course, the um, damage reduction just makes them so hard for rookies to deal with. Oh, it was four drones. Oh, coming around for a flank. Well, I think I've used up all my good luck for this turn. Yeah, even with steadied weapons, their chances are not fantastic, but mm, same difference either way. Should we go for the one further back? Yeah, we're slowly chunking the damage. This is also why I'm using assault rifles rather than carbines. Carbines are, um, they just don't have the hitting power. They really don't. Sight, so uh, let's try one more. Beautiful, beautiful work, lads and lasses. Yeah, steadying up is the only viable response to drones I've learned with rookies until they get. Uh... Oh, bloody hell! Until they get some uh, upgrades, aim better weaponry various skills that become useful. Okay, you can just overwatch for me. 
Or can you get shots on from there? Oh, you got a flank. We'll take that. Okay, well, these things happen. Now you would get a flank, but you will then be flanked in turn. Maybe just hit there, set up for next turn. Yeah, and I think any of my rookies really have the ability to do an awful lot just yet. Okay, you can overwatch. Since you have no shot. 27 is not brilliant. About you, yeah, if you swing around, if you reload this turn, and you can overwatch for me. Shoot, do not shoot. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to be that lucky. 93%. Yeah. Maneuverability of those drones is um, always somewhat problematic. Now, if I'm moving forwards, are you going to trigger another pod? I think I've just got to take the risk. Just knock out their cover for me. So we can get a good shot on him with somebody. He's not loving that. Um, now could you deal with that drone? Beautiful work, sir. The danger here is this is leaving her in a position where she can be flanked by that sectoid potentially. Wow, still in half cover. Um, what about a flashbang? Can you reach? Yes, you can. really should have grabbed the meld before chucking the grenade, but meld, oddly enough, not my top priority here. I know what have you got? Mm. I think you realistically need to pull back and heal yourself up a bit. He's already flashbanged, so he's not an issue this turn. What we need is to move closer and do something. So I'm a little bit concerned. If I put her there, he could, you know, scamper around there and get a good shot off. What I might do instead is waste my flashbang to take a shot on the flanked one there. It does mean the flashbang was wasted, but you, know, you couldn't guarantee actually hitting the uh, sectoid, so it was a necessary evil. Now, where do you want to be? You, I think, are just going to have to take full cover and wait to maybe do something next turn. <coughs> oh, he's scampering. He is rabbiting. Oh no. Yeah. 
I didn't think they were going to continue missing their 20-30% uh, shots for long. They never do. Is that not cover there? It should be. Really? That's not cover? What have you got for me? You can advance. Grenade the son of a bitch. Or we could advance and flash him. Leaving us in position to deal with him next turn instead. you can do. I don't really want to go too far forwards because there is going to be a third pod on this map. So let's see what he does. Well sick to it. It's your move. Someone that can just uh, creep around for a flank shot, we have. Okay, lovely work, lovely work. So what we want to do now is just kind of uh, regroup everyone, make sure they're most full, make sure we are ready to continue. Yeah, let's pop you around that side. Full on ammo, you're fine. You can just uh, reload as well. Really, it got meld up there where it is not possible to get to. Lovely of them. of the zone there. Make you head up. Have to get them reloaded at some point soonish. You are already reloaded. You're fine. You're just a little, a little bit further, Luke Frog. You are one serious unit of problem, because with that health it's uh, easy in one hittable range. I mean technically they're all in one shottable range, but... What was that? Yeah, well I could never reach that meld anyway, so... Losing that, not really too big a deal. You can finally reload. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, blue move overwatch crawl, but occasionally needs must when the devil drives. This map just doesn't have the cover and these rookies just don't have the skills. probably want to be somewhere you can hide next turn. We've got to make contact sooner or later. I 
going to start making some uh, double moves just for the sake of making some sort of progress somewhere. Probably going to be right at the far end of the map, aren't they? Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, they were right at the far end of the map. That's the end of the map there. Really, game? Really? Uh, you actually have some hit points. get them to trigger on me or do I have to trigger them? Here's a very good question. I'm kind of abusing the fact that I know they're there to sneak a couple people around here for some uh, flank shots. Or at least opportunities at flank shots. Let's see if they do walk into us. Uh, yep, yeah, here they come. Well, they didn't walk very far forwards into us far enough for our purposes. Um, I suppose that one, actually no, get the one on the far edge there instead. If you could. Beautiful job. I don't think these two can get close enough to get line of sight. No, they cannot. What well, they can, however, do get close enough to potentially pin them with a little bit of overwatch. Let's see if we can just keep them pinned down. Between overwatch and flashbang they're not going to get very far I wouldn't have thought. fight because um well for this turn you ought to be fine. You out of range and the flash banged. Okay, mind fray. Here we go. Well, I wasn't expecting miracles. I mean, 37% would be a hell of a year. Okay, that overwatch is going to be really annoying. Let's take a shot on the closest one. Yeah, smash more windows. Everyone knows XCOM hate windows. Now then, who wants to be brave? Do you want to be brave? Can you even move? Given you're the one that's actually going to be in range to get a shot off, I think. Mm, I don't think anyone really wants to be brave, do they? Well, since you've already taken injuries, you're going to be out next turn regardless, so you can be brave. No, got away with it. You can follow her lead then. I'll have one more creeping up for a unit of overwatch. As can you. If you just shuffle that should. Hmm. I thought that was going to leave her in line of sight actually. 
Oh, so it's always a bit strange on these maps. Really? Really? You can hit the 20-ish percent, are you? Okay, then. Move people into position now, then who is not going to level? Okay, everyone's going to level. So let's just take all of our shots. One of them's bound to hit. There we go. Well, one called excellent Brad for that, a lot of people injured. Three, I think, in fact. I would not call that an excellent performance, but then do what we can with rookies. Okay, let's just skip those for a moment. Here we have some stuff. We will be in touch, Commander. And 120 credits. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do with that just yet. So let's spinny, spinny, roundy, roundy. Okay. Do we want another access lift? Because we want to hit that steam generator. Hopefully in time for next month to immediately start cranking out the power. Oh, Argentina is our uh, initial base. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Okay then, I shall put together a team and put a cut in here. Right, so this is the team. It's mostly fairly standard rookies. I've got one with truly abysmal aim, so I've given them a laser sight. Everything else is a combination of uh, AP, HE, and flashbangs as standard. I'm also taking a single specialist assault who I'd like to take a, a few seconds to talk about. This is one of two rookies that I've chosen very specifically because they have uh, 15 movement. This one had a base of 5 hit points, the other had a base of 4. So they've gone up to 5 and 6 hit points respectively. Uh, middling aim, although aim isn't all that important on an assault, and really low will. Uh, I've, in fact, his will so low, I've actually given him an alien trophy to give him steadfast, because you don't want him panicking. Um, but because of uh, with 6 plus hit points and 15 movement, this and one other are going to become my covert operatives. Their low will is fairly irrelevant, because they're going to be taking the steadfast perk instead of close combat specialists and then they'll be given you know, will to survive and all the other survivability buffs I can give them but I want to get uh, them leveled up to hopefully corporal rank before I send either of them on their first covert ops mission see in my uh, first playthrough I really didn't put any thought at all into covert operatives so this time I, I want to plan ahead a little bit for that To Russia for this one. Okay, Brad. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. They can absolutely count on us, possibly. But yeah, I uh, wanted to start planning ahead for my covert ops this time. It caught me out a bit last time. So high movement, high hit points. It just uh, seems like a plan. Right. Okay. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Okay, it's immediate contact inside the building. Oh, there. Yeah, I don't want them on the roof with height advantage over me. I also really don't want these drones causing me problems. However, it's going to take me a while to actually get to the roof. Yes, so we'll start off just covering this area here. Now the dicey thing here is I could well uncover another pod as I move across, but I don't have anyone that can blue move there, so someone's going to have to dash in that direction. Now they're far enough away, I don't think they're necessarily going to cause me too many problems. But even so, let's just take 
A little bit of overwatch there. Just in case something comes running down. And you could probably do with taking a bit of overwatch there. I'm tall and I, I kind of want a bit of overwatch to secure that flank but on the other hand I mean those sectors are far enough away they can't realistically get down for a good flank on me they could bust through the buildings and have a shot but uh, also really want that meld swing over there for a bit more protection in case they come dashing through the doors I'm maintaining line of sight down the sides of the buildings at least oh. and that would be the reason why so there's one now is the other still up top only one way to find out I could be running into an overwatch here. I've got no idea I'm going in blind. Okay, I no longer see. See, there could still be one in that corner there or hiding behind there. There's realistically no way of telling. Now, do you have the move? Head across there. That's not going to be a flank shot. what we'll do so if you scout down there to see if there is oh there he is yeah ow 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 yeah oh now you no longer have line of sight on him okay fine where was the bastard is he there he must have been someone get eyes on that there he is okay what we want is to see if she can get a lucky shot on him if not we can always finish him off with a, a running gun from the assault not necessary okay you go up there to take the rooftop. And let's have you to provide a little bit of cover. And you can go in. Prepare to start clearing the building. I hear more sectoids. looking to cause problems. Right, let's just advance up. Ah yeah, the sector is there's a door they've kicked open there so they're on the far side. In which case I I think it's very unlikely they'll actually be in oh no they are in here as well. Oh, they must have gone from there into here. Okay. Can we get a really good flashbang on all three? We can and will. Because that will give us an opportunity to get everyone else into position here. Now we don't necessarily want to flank them in this turn though. Because that will just make them run away. I mean, they're quite likely to run away anyway, but if at all possible, we'd like to set up for some flanks next turn. It's possible since they're flashbang, they may decide to just hunker or something like that. You can just overwatch in case they climb up. You can head all the way up. See, I'd love to start claiming some of this meld, but that would be massively premature. Um, well you can run up there and maybe snag it for me next turn. 
and see what they choose to do. Okay, mind merge. I mean, at this range, they could still get a lucky hit on my assault, even flashbanged. However, we have prepped an ambush, so it'd be rude not to use it. Let's see who wants a kill. You want to kill. <coughs> now we've got enough shots, we should have no difficulties clearing all of them. Oof. And that's the one that wants to die first because he's mind melded with the other. That's one, that's two. Where the hell is the third? Let's just have you creep around, see if you can get eyes on the third one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I always knew there was a chance I'd have to run some overwatches. Right, that's where the third one is. Now then, can you... Would you like a kill? Yes, you would. So let's just drop you down. Point blank range. Take that one out. Lovely job, lovely job. This house is clean. Okay, let's have you move up to provide a little bit of overwatch in case some more come running out. I'd rather like somebody to claim that meld. It's a bit risky with, uh, you know, only two hit points. We don't necessarily want to get any more line of sight though. Just in case there's another pod in there. Oh, I'm hearing them to the right. Let's get you up there. And reload. Let's open up a little bit of line of sight here. Get everyone ready to rock. Let's just take a little peek in the building. Okay, we're seeing nothing. Let's have you sit on that corner, just in case they stroll around. Let's have you form up. And you... Up you go. Somewhere in that building, I believe. Ah, oh, there they are. And this is probably going to be the last pod on the map. No, I want to select somebody else, so let's just open these doors, see what sort of shots we can get. Actually, you can't get a shot at all. Oh no, yeah, okay, they have opened those doors for us. Right. And we've got a couple of flashbangs as backup plans, should this all go horribly, horribly wrong. However, I think what we're going to do is get a kill on our assault here, on the one furthest back. Step forward. 
What sort of shots we got? Mm, yeah, they're not brilliant shots, if I'm honest. Okay. You can probably get a line of sight to him from there. See, again, this is uh, your classic flank overwatch trap. Because he's flanked, he is absolutely guaranteed to run. And with this many overwatch shots, someone's going to pin him down. You would hope. No, apparently not. Well, that just means another kill for my uh, would-be covert operative then, doesn't it? Smooth as silk. I was hoping you'd be taken out on the overwatches, but uh, never mind. Yeah, I'll worry about there. Promotions later. Excellent. Panic decreased. 100 credits, nothing much to do with them just yet, though, so let's just scanny scanny. That's the downside of starting in Oz, you don't get much alien activity. Right, now then, I have enough cash to excavate for our steam journey. Small scout. Uh, let's see avalanche. Let's see if we can get a kill on peanuts. Do need to pick up a sixth interceptor soonish as well. Jesus. RNG not liking us there. Okay, we'll send up another bird. Oh, he's buggered off. Oh no. We have caught him. Okay then. A little bit of damage, which is a shame, but we've got a crash site to go to. Now, let's just have a quick look at our fatigue status. There you go. Everyone ready except for the wounded. That's awesomely awesome. So I should be putting a team together and taking on that UFO in the next episode. Until then, once again, thank you very much for watching.